Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Let me know if you need any assistance. What kind of price do you have on your clothes? This rack here is $5. Okay. And then the other two are $2. Okay, great, thank you. And if you need to get through, I can roll about no. one. That'll be fine, thank you. $5 for Steve. So this rack that she said was $2 each turns out to be almost all Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama, New York Yankees. Another nice Tommy Bahama. XXL. That's an XXL. Pull out them up together. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. What do you want in the bag? Um, it was in that box right there. A dollar. Okay. And then I got a bunch of shirts off the... Okay. Off so the shirts are two bucks a piece. Right. Yep. Right. So um, let me see what we got so far. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four, five. I think five. One, two, three, four, five okay. so far. And that's so we're at a, so we're at 11. Yep. We'll keep looking. All right. Do you want me to put everything in a bag for you? Um. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. If you don't mind. Okay, good. What do you have on like the stuff in this bin? Um, it varies. Like these? Um, that's two, there, most of them are two dollars. Two dollars. The smaller, if there's, well, there's, everybody took all the small stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these are a dollar. Okay. And they're all, they, they're all. So unopened. these two would be? Um, that would be four dollars. Four? Okay. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. When do you get books, please? This is Jack Coffee King, and that's his album. Oh. We were at 11 for that quote. Yep. Five, that's 15, and what do you want to move with this? Oh, you can have that. So, 15 total. Let's see. Do you have a $5? I do. I have one. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. All right, so that was a good yard sale stop. The only one in the area for me today. But that rack was full of Tommy Bahama. I probably could have got more, but should have, could have, would have. I got a few good pieces, good color patterns, linen, stuff like that. Two XXLs that'll I'll pair up together, make it an easier sale. So that's the only sale for today for yard sales. But as you see, I just pulled up to the bins. So let's see what we could get in there today. All right, first aisle came out. I got a pair of Billionaire Boys Club mesh shorts. This is their tag and logo. Some of the stuff can go for like 30, 40, 50 bucks. So 30's in my bag. Found a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, kind of pants, not even jeans, they're not really denim. And kind of this steel blue color. Polo pants always sell good. Here's an example of people not looking at things. Look at the Hargard aisle. There's nobody left over here. They all left and went over to the new clothing aisle. So I'm looking through, taking my time. Canon Sure Shot Telemax. Just laying here in the hard grid I've been. Clean. You know, I would assume it works because there's no corrosion, no damage to it. And look at the comp. Come on, people. 
Thank you very much. And my buddy Connor just came over and gave me these because he rode his bike here. He didn't want to take them. Puma Ferrari collab sneakers. I've sold them before. There's a lot of different variations. Pumas with the Ferrari logo. Good condition. Go for around maybe 40 bucks. This little Sony clock, which is a projector. I believe it projects the numbers of the time onto the wall. Very light, so it maybe cost me $1.50. And um, looks like it goes for like 20 bucks. Good sell through. And the sell through on that camera, I think there was like 70 listed and like 300 sold. So great profit and a fast seller. Here's two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle placemats, 1989. There's only 10 listed, but there's only one sold and it was a new one. Single one sold for 25. Everybody's got to list them around 20 to 25 for one. So I'll list the two for like 20 bucks and this so lightweight will cost me a buck. Just found a brand new kryptonite bike lock. I opened up the cardboard center and the key and everything is in there. So let's look it up and see if it's got any value. All right, it only sells for $20, but here's where the decision comes in. So say it cost me $3, sells for 20 plus shipping. Now I'll make $15, but there's 20 listed and 22 sold. So 100% sell through rate, $15 profit, it's worth the pickup because it'll sell quick. All right, just found this Tommy Hilfiger vintage. It says it's made in Taiwan. Kind of like a, almost like a hockey jersey, sewn on Letterman patch on the front, like the big furry kind. It's got number 88 on the sleeve, three quarter sleeves. Pretty interesting shirt. Hilfiger patch on the sleeve. Sewn on 88 and letters he'll figure on the back. Pretty cool shirt. I haven't looked it up. Hilfiger is not great, but it's vintage and it's very unique. So that's a definite pickup. All right, so I just looked up that Tommy Hilfiger shirt and it looks like someone sold it for 88.88, which is kind of funny because it's got the number 88 on it. So I guess that's how they priced it. But either way, it's an $80, $90 shirt. I don't see any listed. So I'm gonna make it like a hundred bucks best offer. And um, you know, taking the 70 plus range for sure. So that's another solid find. So between that and the camera, that's $150 on two items. So bringing out more aisles, let's keep going. Rummaging through the hard goods, nice pair of Doc Martens. Here's a picture of the same exact boots after I treated them with Doc Martens Wonder Bomb. So besides the Doc Martens that I just found in that bin, I also found this guest watch. It's like a, almost like a, not, man, I want to say it's like a Bakelite material. Obviously Bakelite is from vintage days, so it's not that, but it's that sort of material. Not like a plastic I don't know, like a resin, but it's really cool. So I gotta do some research on that model number, but could have a little value to it. And extremely lightweight, so it's gonna practically cost me nothing. So I'm not gonna kill myself today. It is 10.20, at like 10.40 or so, they call for everybody to pay. They're bringing out a clothing aisle now. So I'm gonna look through that one, and then I'll probably pay and get out of here. Between what I got already and that yard sale, I'm content for two hours in the morning. Then I'll be back here tomorrow morning, which today's Saturday, and Sunday's my good day where I spend probably at least till like 12 or 1 o'clock here. So, let's see what this last clothing aisle has to offer. Hey, how you doing? And then, um, we're out. All right, that last clothing aisle, I got a nice spider quarter zip. Spider is a good like skiing brand. Perfect condition. Probably like a $30 shirt. So at the yard sale, that clothing rack probably had close to 30 Tommy Bahama pieces. Um, Could have, should have took them all maybe, but I don't think so. Because 
There was some camp shirts. Those are the short sleeve button down with like the coconut shell buttons. Most of them are silk, but they're all solid colors. And you want either something bright and floral or an embroidered back if it's a solid color. And none of them were that. So I left those behind. Then there was some random polos that were individual. So I couldn't lock those up, so I left those behind. There was some long sleeve dress shirts. Didn't really want to deal with those. So I did grab five. Let's look at why I grabbed them. All right, from the yard sale, grab this baseball glove. It's Rawlings Kids. Baseball gloves, if you don't know, are easy to comp. Either on the pinky or the thumb on the inside is a model number. This one has it on the thumb, I mean on the pinky. So that one goes for about 15 bucks. Two Mary Kays, and she threw that in for free. The Mary Kays were $2 each, brand new. The one on the left goes for like 25. The one on the right goes for 15. The Sports Sack, good brand. Some of their bags go for good money. This is has like peace signs and doves. Um, I'll call that a $15 bag. Now on the Tommy Bahamas, the one on the left, good color, good pattern. And it's like a heavy cotton, almost like a flannel. So that'll do good for coming up winter. This one is a nice light blue with some striping. That is linen. That's a size XL. That one's a large. Then these two polos, individually, they go for like, you could say $15 to $18. You'll see on the screen. But I like to lock things like this up to make it a faster sale because there is a lot on the market. So they're both 2XL, Supima cotton, one in a blue, one in a beige tan. Um, I'll list it, you know, if they're going for 18 each, that's 36 for two. I'll list them for like 34 75 and I'll take an offer of close to $30. So they each cost me $2, I'll make 25 bucks. And this one, just a striped polo. If it didn't have the Yankees embroidery on it, I would have left it behind. But since it has the Yankees, figure it's decent and I should get Anywhere from 20, 25 bucks on it, I'll say. So for the five shirts, the bag, the two Mary Kay, and the baseball glove, I spent $15, and it also comp out at about 150. Now, there, unfortunately, there was only one yard sale today. That's because it's August, rainy season in Florida, and it's hot. So this is our slow season compared to the rest of the country. Once it gets to winter, then we pick up, and there's a lot of sales. So I did the one, then I went to the bins. I didn't get it till like 8:20. Usually I get there when they open at 8. So I left there at 10.40, got online at 10.30. So for two hours, I did amazing. So let's look at the stuff I got at the bins and take a look at comps. So if you're unfamiliar with things or you know you want to stick them into your storage of your brain, you'll know what to look for. We'll start with some hard goods. Kryptonite, brand new bike lock. That cardboard opens up. I looked inside and it has the key and everything in there. So that's good to go. Should be about a $20 item. 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, two placemats. Um, there's a pamphlet listed, only one sold for like 25 bucks. So I'll list my two for 20 just to move them out. I don't really care, I'll make money. Puma collab with Ferrari. I've sold these before in the past. Not that color or you know style, but they make different ones. And they usually move pretty good. Even the clothing, you'll find the Puma Ferrari stuff. So those should go, I'll call that like a $35. Comps are like 40 to 50. These Doc Martin boots are perfect. A little blue spot there, that'll come out. Hit them with some Doc Martin Wonder Bomb. The treads, perfect. So those should be like a 50 to $70 boot right there. Found this Guess watch, pretty unique looking. There is a model number on the back. I looked it up, it looks like it goes for around 30. I call it um I call it twenty bucks. I like to be conservative with things, and probably the most expensive find is this Canon thirty five millimeter Sure Shot Telemax. Opened it up, compartments clean, film areas clean. Does look like any damage? I'll put batteries in it and test it. Of course, whenever you see the older thirty five millimeters, look them up because sometimes you're gonna get surprised and you're gonna find a hundred dollar camera. But other times it's just worthless. But look them up. All right, so the projection clock, the radio works. The sound effects work. It has ocean, a bird, rain, um, like underwater. Clock works. And this is the little projector on the side. So let's see if it projects the time. And it works. It projects forward, so I turn it around. And as you see on my map on the wall, 
It's projecting the time. All right, let's look at the clothing real quick. Metallica, Harvester of Sorrow. Shows as 1988 tour, but this is a reprint. Has a screen printed tag, dated 2020. But as you see on the screen, it still sells. So that's a moneymaker. Someone threw that one back. I guess it wasn't, you know, a vintage one. So the t-shirt guys didn't want it. But you just look up things, boys. You'll find you make money. All right, here's a good brand, Billionaire Boys Club. It's their logo. This is called the Third World Short. It has like a print on the leg. Um, there's only one listed brand new for 130, none sold. So, you know, I don't know what I'm going to list that at yet. I'll have to do a little more research. You know, maybe 50 or 60 bucks best offer. Whatever happens, happens. All right, this is a spider. It's a decent brand in like ski and winter wear. That's their logo. Here's their tag, spelt S-P-Y-D-E-R. And this is just a quarter zip, nice colorway, um, perfect condition. And I'll figure I'll get $20 on that. All right, this is a really great, fine, vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Um, not the best of brands to sell, but this is such a unique piece that when I grabbed it, I was like, that's a keeper. All right, so I'm always conservative when I say what kind of numbers it might sell for compared to the comps. I always go like five, ten dollars under just to be safe, you know, for the sake of letting you know what's going on and being realistic. Cause I do take offers. So from the yard sale, should come in around $150 on 15 spent. The hard goods from the bins should come in around $250. And then the clothing should come in another $185, making the bins $435 on 27 spent. Between the yard sale and the bins, it should come in around $585 on $42 spent. And that was all between 7.45 in the morning and 10.30. You can't beat that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.